Um, sharpening the knife. A lot of people mistakenly think that you have to have your knife sharpened professionally. You really, really don't. And here's the reason why. Regardless of the type of knife you have, stainless steel being harder to sharpen, many people mistake a dull knife for simply a knife that needs to be steeled. And here's the thing. Sharp knife like this, right? If I were to look down the blade of my knife like that. Sharp knife like this, at a point. Dull knife is flattened at the top. And to solve this, I need to grind off where my knuckles are, actually remove material and bring it back to a point. And this wears your knife down, obviously, the more you get it professionally sharpened. The problem is most of your knives, and when I hold knife skills classes, I can turn my back and I can tell your knife is dull, your knife needs to be sharpened, because I can hear the difference between boom and zip, zip, zip. If your knife is dragging through items, it's so much more dangerous than having a sharp knife because that's when you force, that's when you push, that's when you exert extra effort, that's when the knife slips. So most knives aren't necessarily dull that they need to be ground. What happens is this. You get burrs. Things, little nicks in your knife, little microscopic nicks that rather than the knife being sharp and going through a product, it has burrs that stick out and it drags through a product. So most often sharpening isn't the necessary thing. Stealing the knife is the necessary thing. Oh, what's that thing that came with my knife kit? I thought it was for marshmallows. This is called a sharpening steel. It's a misnomer though. Sharpening steel doesn't sharpen your knife. Sharpening steel retrues your knife. And you can solve a lot of issues and expense in having your knife sharpened by simply removing the burrs and retruing the knife in that regard. Now we all know there is nothing cooler than this. Right? Grandpa did this. This is, oh yes, yeah. turkey time, Thanksgiving, baby, I'm gonna. The only problem is you're supposed to keep a consistent angle on your knife. And if you're swashbuckling like this, unless you work at the Benihana, you're creating a knife with waves in it. This is worse than your knife dragging. Your knife should have a 20 degree angle on it, a 20 degree angle. So rather than flashing around, take your steel and put it straight up against the table at a 90 degree angle. Hold it still. This is a 90, 90 degree angle, that's a 45 degree angle, that's about 20. I'm going to pull the knife across the steel at a 20 degree angle in a concerted effort. One, other side. Two, maybe five times each side. Not cool at all. <laughs> Really, really not nearly as cool as flashing the, the steel around, but you will have a much better edge on your knife, which is actually safer, stealing the knife. Now, let's say you did decide to cut a shoe and cut a can for some reason, and your knife is not a Ginsu knife. You have taken some good hacks out of it. It's going to need to be sharpened. Again, this is really all you need. This is five, maybe ten dollars at the Ace Hardware in Federal Hill um, or anywhere else. This is a basic sharpening stone. And the idea would be I'd put the stone on a towel. It has a coarse side and a fine side. Side Stone on the towel. Again, 90 degree, 45, 20. And what I want to do at a 20 degree angle is pretend I'm trying to cut a really thin slice out of the stone. So I start at the heel. I move concerted to the tip, one. Bring it back the other way. Rag slipping on the table, two. Then go on the fine side, and so on. Like I'm cutting a slice out of it in a concerted effort. How do you wipe the knife? Trust me, from experience, you do not do this. I have cut through towels into my towel into my hand only once. You'll only do that once. The correct way to wipe the knife is towel on the table, knife on the towel, towel on the knife, pull it out. That's the correct way to, to wipe a knife. So now the next question is, how do you tell when your knife is sharp? I see students in culinary college do this. They rub their finger on the knife. Like, so when you bleed, that's when the knife is sharp. It's the stupidest thing I ever saw. But it's, it is difficult to tell. You can't really look at it and see. There is one way you can look at it and see. In light, if you look down the edge of the knife, you should see no reflection at all. If there is a dull spot, a flat spot in your edge, you'll see a glint of light because the light will reflect flat and come up. 
So when you look into the light, if you see any glinting, any flat spots, that means you do need to remove some material and we go to, to the stone for that. So after I have, a, after we've all gotten our stoned knife uh, and our towel, we've steeled the knife, now we have a knife ready to go. Now we have removed those burrs from the knife, we have a good sharp edge on our knife, you don't need to spend a lot of money doing that. <laughs>